हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू विश्पा केड फ्रेंड्स इन टू डेज वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू शो हाउ टू मेक अ ब्लोअर कैशिंग या यू कैन सी आई ऑलरेडी मेक अ ब्लोअर कैशिंग इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अ सेंट्रीफिकल ब्लोअर ड्राॅइंग इन डिटेल या यू कैन सी दिस इज अंट्रीफिकल ब्लोअर एंड यू कैन सी फर्स्ट इट्स ब्लोअर कैशिंग and here is straight this is a single arc this is second one this is third arc so we are going to learn how this arc is made so now here you can see this is uh, some dimensions i mentioned in rectangular box here is l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 and l6 before uh, start making casing you need this dimensions so here you can see r1 is 784 r2 is 709 r3 is 633 and r4 is 633 so now friends uh, we first draw l1 l2 l3 and l4 using line command here uh, invoke line command simply type l and enter here take any point on display and 747 L2 is a 821. L3 is a 671. 671. And our L4 is 595. Okay, friends. Now I just simply copy this property of line using match property command. M is a shortcut. So now, friends. Uh, now we will draw arc of radius 784. So first we will uh, see how we will get R1. We need to calculator. So now friends here, here you can see our arc is made between L1 and L2. So simply enter seven four seven plus eight twenty one divided by two. Here you can see our R1 is. Seven eight four. Now just uh, draw a circle of uh, radius seven eighty four from this end point and this end point. Be sure uh, here uh, you have to take end point of this line. To take a end point, simply just uh, uh, hold your shift and uh, right click, and you can see here you can see object snap end point. Just draw a circle of 784 radius, and from here 784. Okay. Now you you can see our circle is intersect this point. So just take another circle, and here our object snap is. Uh, intersect yes yeah, intersection draw a line and uh, take a end point here okay now just simply delete the circle we already made and with the using of trim command select this line this line enter and delete, delete this circle okay now friends here you can see our r1 is made now we will see how we will get r2 you can see here r1 is made between l1 and l3 okay so it's 7 l1 is 747 plus l3 is 671 Divide by two. Yes, our seven zero nine. So just again draw a circle of radius seven zero nine on the end point of this line seven zero nine. Here again seven zero nine. And with the intersection point, draw another circle. Here our intersection point. Just take this point. and draw a circle on this end point 
okay now delete this circle this circle and just using of trim command we will trim this circle okay friends now you can see our r2 is made now here we will draw r3 you can see r3 is made with bit made made between l4 and l3 so here 595 plus 671 divide by 2 here our 633 draw circle of red uh, radius 633 on end point 633 now on this again on this intersection point draw another circle and delete this circle using trim command delete this circle okay friends now uh, you can see our r1 r2 and r3 made our r4 is also 633 but uh, we will draw it later first uh, we will draw l5 from this end point here l5 is 745 and you can see l6 is 350 so we just take offset from this line offset and 350 okay here l6 is 350 so now we will draw r4 to draw r4 simply active extend command by type ex enter select first line enter and click this circle okay and again trim from here okay now friends you can see our r1 r2 r3 r4 is made now here is the blower uh, discharge flange so we will draw discharge flange here and here here is our discharge flange okay friends now here you can see our r1 r2 r3 and r4 is made now we will going to check our dimensions are right or not simply using a radius tool now first we will check r1 okay our r1 is 784 our r2 is 709 here you can see r2 is 709 our R3 633 is 633 and our R4 is also 633. You can see here R4 is R4 is 633. Now using linear tool, first L1 is 747. Here is 747. L2 is 821. 821 l3 671 671 and our l4 is 595 okay here our l5 is 745 745 and l6 is 350 you can see l6 is 350 okay friends uh, i hope that uh, you understood this uh, tutorial and uh, now you can draw a blower casing easily in your autocad and uh, also you can follow these same steps in fabrication and uh, if you have any doubt about this video then please uh, put your comments in comment section so okay friends uh, this is the end of our video uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe our channel okay friends thanks for watching this video